concerning shootist here on the table for me is one of my constant daily companions. This is a Charter Arms Off Duty 38 Special. It's a stainless steel, five shot, snub nose revolver. This one's a little bit of an older one because it locks in the front here and in the back, so you have to get it to get it to come apart. Locks up very, very tight. If you notice, it actually has a front sight on it that's painted orange, which I did not do, but it's very, very handy. It's very, very accurate. Like three by five card, seven yards accurate. Frequently can do that. If you notice, I have here I have a unique grip on it. It's got a little wing or that comes out. This is a bear me, forgive the pronunciation if it's incorrect, hip grip. You can find them online. It's made in Michigan. The idea behind this is, is you just slip this in your waistband. This catches on the waistband and there you go. An interesting byproduct for this, because a lot of these five shot snub nose revolvers have these grips that fill this gap and they're very, very big and whatever. And I don't like them. I like to have my fingers right up in here. It affords me a little more control. Is that this ear here, the tab on the hip grip, actually pushes my trigger finger out. See how it fills there in the hand? And it makes it easier for me to manipulate the trigger as I should. So pull that out. So not that I carry it just in my waistband anymore. But, except maybe at home, it's a quick, quick, neat option. But it just actually has, that's just an added benefit of the hip grip, is that it puts my trigger finger in the right spot. So, moving right along, ways I carry it. Well, I do legitimately carry it. This is a Simply Rugged pocket holster. It's just simple suede out leather. Fits in my pants pocket, fits in my coat pocket. Got a little slot here where you can put a couple of rounds if you got to carry five or six extra rounds on a speed strip. Love it, as you can tell. It's well worn. I use it use it quite frequently actually. I believe a good a pocket gun or pocket carry is the way to go. The way my charter arms actually rides, I mean more times than not, about 10 months out of the year, is in an ankle holster. And if you look at the back of this holster, if you couldn't tell by the front, it's very worn. This holster is about eight or nine years old. I wear it probably 180, 200 days out of the year for the last five years. It's exceptional. Fits a five shot J frame or snub nose, charter arms off duty in this case, very, very well with a nice strip. It's very, very secure. The shearling on it makes it very, very comfortable. Do a lot of driving, a lot of seated. It's much more easy for me to get to and I can just pull it right through. For ammunition extras, this is an old Uncle Mike's belt container and in it, Bianchi speed strip. Holds six rounds. My load of choice is a Corbon DPX 110 grain. Why? Even though it's plus P, it doesn't shoot like it's plus P, and it's very, very accurate. Again, 3x5 card, 7 yards, offhand. I prefer the Bianchi Speed Strips over the Tough Products. I've had multiples of both. Tough Products ones I've had to replace because they were broke, because they broke and just practice and use, and the Bianchis because I just basically lend them out. So, there you have it. This is the Discerning Shooters. Be good, be safe, or be good and dangerous.